They call them the boys on the hill. The call of tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Call of Tigers documentary. The 2023 season. Let's play some football. It was always the 18. Call the first game of the year. They were facing Hardaway, which is a lot of tension in this ball game. You know, they they they've been going at it all summer about what one gonna do to the other. So yeah, we're expecting a heck of a ball game right here. Carver, knowing the the, the history that Carver had in the city of Columbus. <laughs> I don't think Carver's scared of any football team around here. So, but the question was, is Holloway up for the challenge? So here we go. Dante Child with the premier running back now. And on the opening drive, Dante Child took the ball 25 yards for the touchdown to put Carver up 7-0. And as you can see right here, you know, they were making the little, <laughs> the little eagle chant, the hawk chant, eagle chant. You see all the intensity there between these, these two. How will Holloway respond? On the very next play, Holloway, running back, sketched through the hole and took the ball 95 yards to the house. Now at this point, I'm speaking a ball game. I'm, uh, this the longest run out of scene against Carl. I'm expecting a ball game now. Holloway will miss the extra point. Yeah, that is going to be, at this point, it will be 7 to 6. Carver up. Oh, yeah. Now, this was a shocker. It, he silenced the crowd real quick. But it didn't last long. Carver drove the ball all the way down to the 10-yard line and Dante Child will punch it in to put Carver to extend the lead 14-6. I mean Dante Childs, he had a big he had big shoes to fill. And on this day, yeah, he he showed, you know what I'm saying, he was the premier running back for Carver. I mean, coming up behind Riley, having to place Riley. And here we go again. Carver, screen pin, Dante Child, another score. Man, at this point, Carl was looking back. It was touchdown after touchdown. Carl was up 20, 20 to 6. Carl was still one, though. First and goal at the one yard line. Hand out to Dante Child. He's in for another Carl score. Man, this man is having a pre mill breakout game. The defense decided to get into the action. Our quarterback drops back and throws a pick six to Zay Billings. Oh yeah. At this point right here, man, Carver wasn't looking back. Holloway was just, <laughs> it was just a, <laughs> one of them nights for Holloway. <laughs> they ran into the wrong team. Yeah. yeah I, I can understand that sometime at the beginning of the year. Thank you, Ready. But you know you ain't ready. Yeah, that's the type of thing Holloway had. Yeah, this thing had got real ugly. 41 to 6. Carl will end up winning this ball game. 47 to 6. That's the one they want to see Mrs. Ski back at it again with the one and only Deontay Childs. Mr. Childs, senior year, y'all had a phenomenal season last year. You come out tonight, you drop four touchdowns. What was your inspiration? We came out a little slow, and we came, we sped up. I just, uh, we just trying to get the ring this year. So, what was your expectation going to tonight's game? Chain 60. That was close. When they want to see Mr. Ski here with D, one and only Pierre Coffin, Coach Coffin. Had a phenomenal run last year. Really? Y'all back at it again this year. What was y'all game plan going to tonight's game? Oh, um, we, we really just wanted to kind of work on ourselves and get better at, you know, at the things that we do. Um, I, I wanted to see our guys play a complete game, get sir, all facets of the game. Um, and we did that for the most part, but it, we still got to get better. There's a lot of things that I thought that I saw that I thought we need to get better at. Um, I was pleased with you know how we kind of took the field versus Lee County last week. Yes, sir. I think we came out in the first half and you know really took it to them. Um, so I, I was pleased with that. Um, just our energy and how we you know how we tackled. And, and tonight I thought we kind of came out flat, but we kind of picked it up. So. 
it was August the 25th, week two, the Big Heritage Bowl. One of the biggest rivalries in the South. Yeah, these two teams here, man, like the whole, they had attention of the whole city when these two teams meet. I mean, you can go to any other school, no matter what school you go to. <laughs> I mean, they all attend this ball game. Oh, yeah. Spencer versus Carl. Man, it's about to go down. Both teams coming in and here being the region champs. Spencer was the region champs from a year ago. Carl was the region champ from a year ago. Both of them made big, big runs in the playoffs. Not like each other. <laughs> they like night and day. Spencer hold Carl will lose every game. Carl will hold Spencer will lose every game. These two schools keep up with each other. There ain't no love lost here. <laughs> oh yeah. How much heat it was between these games. These these two teams, man. These these two teams, they really hated to shake hands. <laughs> I paid attention to it all, man. They, they, they didn't even want to shake hands. I mean, they would think they just um, let the referee tell them who kicking off. And they, they, just, they just get it. The handshaking part, shh, hey man, it's there. It's there. First player of the ball game, Spencer quarterback, Gary Gector, drops back and fires. Boom. To the receiver. He would be tucking down inside the inside the twenty yard line. Man, I say what a what a start for uh, Spencer. The Spencer got down inside the ten yard line and couldn't couldn't score, couldn't capitalize. Carl took over on down. Like I always preach, playing Carl, you got to be mistake free. So here you go. Quarterback hands out to the back. He was fumbling the ball out the back of the end zone, giving Carver the first score of the ball game, two to zero. Like I always say, you got to be good at all phases of the ball game, <laughs> playing Carver. And it's punt, on kickoff return team, you got to have that in point. Carver returned the kick all the way back for you know a touchdown, putting Carver up eight to zero. Man, Spencer already got their back against the wall. Already playing behind, you know, from behind. Man. That ain't good, though. Just before the half, call up 70 0. Sophomore quarterback. Drops back. Fires in the ear zone. Pass will be caught by Braden Jakes to put call up 15 0. Just before the half. So here we go. Late in the third quarter, quarterback hands off to Zion Mabry to put Carver up 21 to 0. Man, Carver, you know, was firing on all cylinders, man. I can honestly tell you, it was the biggest crowd both teams played in for all year long. But neither one of us seen a crowd like this. I mean, it was packed on both sides. And they all the way around full house. Yeah. So they did it from a large, a large audience. But you know, it's late it's getting late. Fans starting to leave. It's starting getting to be late in the um, third quarter. About to be fourth quarter. Spencer down, 21 to 0. I mean, fans started checking out of here a little early. You know? Almost two minutes left in the third quarter. Spencer got to make a move. They done drove the ball inside the 20 yard line. Quarterback fired in the end zone pass was incomplete. But that was officially, I mean, that would be the last play of the ball game due to uh, something broke out. They end up canceling the ball game. A uh, fight broke loose or uh, something. They end up canceling the ball game. And that would be the official last time a high school football game was played in Memorial Stadium. They canceled that. That's you know they canceled games in Memorial Stadium for the rest of the year.
final score will be Carver 21, Spencer 0. It was September the 8th. Carl was playing Northeast Macon. You know, they lost in Northeast Macon last year, so you know Carl was circling this game on Kellen. So, Carl is good on the revenge game. So here we go. Carl had a week off after the big heritage bowl. Then time to prepare for this ball game. So here we go. Open the drive, Carl. Screen pass to the wide receiver, he took it in for the score. Call will take the first score of the ball game, 6 0. And Northeast very first possession. Called it, it was a miscue. Wide receiver wide open on the flat, and he took it all the way to the house to put Northeast making up 7 6. So here we go, inside the 25-yard line, Northeast Bacon. Quarterback hands off to the running back, round the corner, to the house. Northeast will extend the lead to 13-6. So here we go, Carl got the ball late in the third quarter on their own one-yard line. Quarterback hands off to the running back, fumbles the ball. And the Northeast will scramble for it, pick it up, and go take it in for the score. Man, that right there was a heartbreaker. Carl will find himself in a hole down 19 to 6. So here we go. Late in the fourth, Carver down 19 to 12. Quarterback got to do something. Quarterback just fires toward the end zone and be caught by Jacoby Kessler. For Carver score, make the score 18 to 19. But Carver ended up losing that ball game, 25 to 18. Man, that was a tough loss for Carver. Never had I witnessed Carver lose a ball game in the regular season. I was never there. It was the first loss of the regular season that I witnessed. Man, you gotta do something. It was September the 15th. Carver traveled up the road to play Brentwood. Brentwood is a 7-8 football team. And Carver jumped up on his team 22-0. Mm. What can go wrong? Uh, yup, 22-0. On a 7-8 football team. Unfortunately, Carver ended up losing his ball game 23-22. Now it was September the 23rd. Carl was hosting Hakerville on Saturday. Carver would jump up on Hakerville early in the ball game, which Carver beat Hakerville, you know, the year before. I mean, this was an early ball game for Carver. You know, ball game played around two o'clock that evening. It was too early, you know. Carver liked to play on the light. So here we go. Quarterback takes the snap. Quarterback rolls out to the right. Fires deep downfield to his man. Make an outstanding catch. Carver will end up losing this ball game. 34 to 26. Man. It was September the 29th. Carver playing at Connect Stadium against Columbus. Carver coming up off a three game losing streak. Wow, that's something we don't hardly see at Carver. They got to get back on track. The one thing I noticed about Carver, they had a new quarterback. They had made a change at quarterback. And one way to get back on track is, you know, execute. That which they would do on the very, very opening kickoff. Carver would take the opening kick out all the way to the house. So here we go, Columbus. Getting ready to punt at their own ear zone. Carver gets off of a decent punt. 
think it would be fielded at the 30 yard line. And the return man did the rest. 32 yard return for a score. Carl was making it look real easy at this point. Carl will go for two, which they would get. And at this point, I, I see it. Carl will be up 14 0. At this point, I said Carl would look, it looked like Carl had an audition for running backs. I started seeing a lot of different guys run the ball for him. Up 14-0. I don't think Carl was trying to dominate this ball game. They're just trying to get their team back to the dominant ways of executing and everything. It just happened that Columbus had to be in the way. Up 14-0, hand the ball out to Kobe Kastner, and he does the rest all the way to the house to give Carl a 20-0 lead. I know the coach should be feeling good about his team going in the locker room. 20 to 0 lead. Nine minutes in the third quarter. Quarterback hits. Braylon Jakes for a 45 yard touchdown score. To put Carver 28 to 0. Carver still one done. Quarterback Arnold drops back, hits Jakes for another score. To put Carver up 34 to 0. Carl would end up winning that ball game, 40 to zero. You took the role in at the starting quarterback, man. They helped yes, the team. I talked to you, yes, man. Sir. I mean, it was a long process. Just trusting my guys, getting to them what they like to do, what they don't like to do, what they prefer, what they don't. But overall, it was just a great team when everybody showed effort. It wasn't all on me. My guys up front, they held it down. Wide receivers had to catch the ball. And we just executed on every level. Oh, yeah. You did a good job out there, man. Yes, sir. I ain't lying, man. Yes, sir. All right, good game, man. Good game. Yes, sir. All right. Now that's the start of the quarterback, but this guy here, this, this guy like my quarterback on defense. Y'all got the nasty defense back, what y'all doing, man? Yes, sir, yes, sir. We just playing our, playing our role, doing our job. That's all the time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This week. Okay. Uh, who y'all got next week? Um, Tom Bill. Tom Bill. You gonna get in the bin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It was October the 6th. Carl was hosting Tom Bill. Oh, yeah. This is a game Carl was circling on his schedule due to the fact they lost to Thomasville last year. Carl would do that to set the tone in this game early. And on the opening drive, Carl drove all the way down the field and dumped that child with punching in from 10 yards out to give Carl a 6 to nothing lead. Yeah, Dante Child was having a breakout season. Under the radar, you know, he was doing the thing. Go quarterback drop back, hit Dante Child with a screen pad. Dante does the rest all the way to the house about 70 yards. Oh, yeah, this man flying on the radar. This man was low key, you know what I'm saying, handling his business. You know, Child was really having a breakout season. Carl uh, was up 14 0. So, here we go, quarterback. Huh. Hands out to the fullback, straight up the middle for a Carver touchdown. Carver will go for two. Get it. Carver is now 22-0 at halftime. Man. Second half, Carver kicks it off. The start of the second half, Tunnelville take it. 86 yards for Thomas Bill's first score of the game. To make the score 22 to 7. But on the very next possession, Carl will hand off to Dante Childs. And he will scramble 65 yards to put this game away. Carl will go up 28 to 7. Carver in the winning ball game, 
October the 13th, Chris County, Carver Bay, Chris County. This was my first road trip with Carver. By this time, I feel like I'm family. I done got on the road, Carver. They invaded Chris County. And when I say they invaded Chris County, they invaded Chris County like <laughs> coming to America. <laughs> Carver coming to this ball game riding a two game winning streak. And Chris County remember last year, you know, I Carver, you know, slipped by on last year. Oh yeah, that's why we play the game. Yeah, Chris County still had that chip on their shoulder from last year. Feel like, you know, was, we had them, we had them, you know, last year. And due to the fact, you know, they they called coming into this ball game already had lost three ball games so just kind of felt like this could be their time it's their time right here to handle business now i tell you chris county was sent a statement on the opening drive quarterback drops back and hit his wide receiver wide open down the middle which if the ball had been on the money, it'd probably been a walk-in touchdown. That would make it first and goal for Chris County on the opening drive. And then on the very next play, it was the quarter, I mean, man ran a wildcat to get in for the first score of the ball game, which Chris County would be up 7-0. Now down 7-0 on the very next try. Quarterback hands off to Dante Child, straight up the good, all the way to the house. Carver would miss the extra point. Would make the score seven to six. Chris County would hit Carver with a bunch of offensive um plays, big play after play. But I mean, Carver just had that beam and won't break defense. Chris County would move the ball all the way down to the three yard line, third and goal. Carver make a defensive stand. Chris County figure a. Hey, it's fourth down now. We're going to have to either, you know, with field goals ain't going to beat Carver. So there you have it. Carver stopped them. And Chris kind of turned the ball over on downs. I understood Chris kind of strategy. They figured hey, we're not going to beat Carver with no field goals. They needed touchdowns. But they were going to the locker room with a one-point lead, 7-6. Carver defense playing good, but you know, Carver figure like, hey, offense is time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Carver first possession of the second half, it didn't go as well. You know, and Chris County defense was still on to, you know, Carver. But here we go, nine minutes in the third quarter. Carver got to do something. Hands the ball out to Kobe Kesson, straight up the middle, touchdown. We get Carver the first lead of the ball game. This Carver will be up 12 to 7. Which Chris County knew. <laughs> they didn't want this team to get ahead of them. Once Carver get ahead of you, the rest is history. So here it is, playing Carver. You got to be mistake free. So here it is, late in the third quarter. The punter fumbles the ball and dies on it and gives Carver the ball inside the five, inside the ten yard line. Man, and on the very next play, Carver punching in with that bruiser running back. Oh yeah, Carver do got a young team. Now this kid is in the ninth grade. Which is bright for him. Carver ended up winning that ball game. 24 to 7. It was October the 19th. Carver hosting Monroe. Two heavy schools about to go battle. Monroe is known for his passing attack. They got a strong passing attack. Man, this game here was. Now, this, this might have been one of Carver's most intense ball games. Yeah, it was hate right here. It's natural hate here. You know how they say two two teams just alike? Yeah, they don't like each other. 
too much in life. Yeah. Murrow coming in this ball game with a five and two record. Feeling like, you know what I'm saying, they battling in Carver, you know. Carver at this point already had lost for three ball games. So, you know, here you go. Carver coming in here with with the three game winning streak. Murrow with a two game winning streak and a battle record on a five and two record. And a, and a pretty strong air attack. So, you know, at this point, it seems like it's going to be a pretty good ball game. Carl going to have to play the win. He got him. So here we go. On that very first position for Carver. Carver would turn the ball over. The former from Dante Childs, which Morrow will cover in Carver territory. But Morrow couldn't move the ball, so they would end up attempting. A 30, 30 some yard field goal would put Murrow up 3 0. On the very next position, Carl with the ball at the 47 yard line of Murrow. Quarterback hands off to Dante Childs, straight up the middle to the house. Put Carl up 63. That's one thing about, you know, Carl, but they believe in their running back. You know what I'm saying? He made a mistake early. You know, just keep, how they say, keep feeding. Keep feeding. On the next possession, quarterback in the shotgun. Murrow with the ball at the 24 yard line. Quarterback drops back and fires toward the end zone in double coverage. Receiver made an outstanding catch to put Murrow up. 10 to 6. So here we go. Carver driving. Ball at the 12 yard line. Hunter hands it off to the sophomore running back, Jacoby Castleman. Straight up the middle and dives in the end zone to put Carver back up. Man, this was a chess match. Back and forward at this point. Carver and Morrow. At this point. Carver wasn't going for field goals no more. So here we go. Going for two. Quarterback hands out to freshman running back, Zion Mabry. They punch it in, put Carver up 14 to 10. Yeah, they're going back and forward now. Carver defense has started to buckle down on Morrow. Morrow can't do nothing, you know. Well, that's one thing about Carver to make, make adjustments. Carl will add to the league with a four yard touchdown run by Jacoby Castle. Put Carl 20 10. Carl defense had made this adjustment. I mean, they, it was hard for Murrow to do anything. So here it is, big play. Murrow got to do something. Quarterback scrambled and took a big lead. End up getting knocked out of the game. You know what I'm saying? That was the last time we seen the quarterback, you know, for Monroe. So Carver with the ball trying to put this game away. Already up 20. 10. Here we go. Hunter hands off to Dante Child. Dante Child dies into his own and put Carver up. Carl will go up 28 to 10. So now it's late in the fourth quarter. Quarterback. Ball at the 16 yard line. Quarterback looks. Throws the ball over the middle. Drives to you, catch it. Walks in the air zone. That was a little too late there. Carl ended up winning this ball game. 28 
know, see, I, boy, what y'all learn, learn the team, man. Y'all just shut down, man. Y'all learn what they trying to do, man. Y'all just shut down, man. Talk to me. Man. I don't even know what to say, it just. <laughs> Every week, same thing, though. Know. Can't nobody come over and come to our chop and take our chop. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They were personal money. All right. <laughs> that, I mean, you had to send, you had to send a message. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Good game, homeboy. Appreciate it. I'm going to try to start stuff again. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because the first time, you know how, you know, in the fourth quarter, right? Yeah. Two Monroe had jumped one of the Carver football players. Oh, okay, okay. And then when one of the Carver football players oh, yeah. noticed he went oh, over yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He's trying to start stuff again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Monroe. Um, really can take this loss. It's a little confrontation took place in the parking lot. Bro. One of the Marvel football players was like this way on the call. Bro. Yeah. So it got a little, you know. But it didn't, you know. It was a total loss for Marvel. October 27th, last game of the season. Carl was getting ready to go to battle with Doherty. Yeah, it's another road game, and I made the trip with them boys. <laughs> I made the trip with them Tiger man. Hey man, I'm a Tiger right about now. So here we go, first drive of the ball game for Carver. Quarterback checking over everything. You know what I'm saying? Got the ball inside the 15 yard line. Carver hands the ball out to the main man. Yeah, child. It seemed like it, you know, every game, child set the tone with the, the opening uh, touchdown. It was about seven or eight in the ball game. Child shot, you know, he shot the tone in it. So here you go. Door with the ball. At about the, about the eight yard line. Quarterback drops back and gets sacked for a safety. You know, right here I was saying, how you how you get sacked for a safety? And you got the ball at the eight yard line. You know, that's kind of unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? Call will be up 10 to 0. So here you go. Up 10 to 0. Carver. They want more. Get the ball to Castle. Castle up the middle. And make a run for the is on. To put Carver up. 16 to 0. Now Carver went for 2 and got the 2. Carver was up 18 to 0. Now at this point, Carver was 18 to 0. Now check this out. Quarterback hands off to the running back. He seemed to be stopped at the three yard line, but he refused to go down and he plows his way all the way in for the, for the scope. But man, that was amazing, them man. At this point here, Carver, y'all just get out of here, you know, get rest your boys and get ready for playoff. Cause man, <laughs> Carver ended up winning this ball game, 30 to zero, and a perfect five and zero in region play. Getting ready for the playoffs. Now it's November 10th. Playoff time. Carl was hosting Academy of Richmond. I won't say that again. <laughs> ARC. You know, you know Carver. Don't do no first first round losses. You know these boys make runs. You already know how these boys get down. Week one of the playoffs, man. <laughs> Who are playing Carver, man? Y'all in trouble, man. Carver finished the season five and zero in region, region play. You know, like I said, D boy don't do no first round losses. Boy made runs. Yes, speaking of making runs, Carver off to a, a, a good start. Third play of the ball game, Hunter has it out. To the main man, Braylon Jakes, and he will walk in to give Carver the first score of the ball game, 6 0. I paid attention to see every ball game, Braylon was the captain, you know what I'm saying? So he already had a leadership role. But here we go. The defense decided to make a big play. Quarterback drops back, fires, and it's a pick six by the man, Anthony Wilson. Yeah, like I said, the energy run around this man. Oh yeah, man, this kid here, man. This kid here, the energy from him on defense. Oh yeah. Yeah, I watched him all year long. <laughs> game after game. 
Hey man, he live for this man. That orange, that red and blue, man, run through his blood. It run through his blood. Ain't nothing like being a carver type. See these members here? Yeah, they gonna stick with you forever. Up 12 to 0. Car one done. Quarterback. Hunter. Ball at the 16 yard line. Takes the snap and hit his running back on the fly route. Jacoby Cassidy. I can tell you, this kid is all around back. He can catch balls like a wide receiver and he can tote that ball. Man, Carver, <laughs> they got all all around back here. Carver will go for two and get it. Carver now up 20 0. Up 20 0. Quarterback hands off to the running back, Zion Mabry. And he powers up the middle to put Carver up 28 0. Up 28 0. Man, Carver still one done. Quarterback fires in the back of the end zone to his wide receiver wide open to put the game way out of reach. Carl was now up 34 to 0. Carl will end up winning this ball game 40 to 0. And yeah, now off to the next round. Like I said once before, these boys don't do no first round loss, they made runs. Carver for the win. It was November 17th. Round two of the playoff. Carver facing Ups and Lee. Now, I'm going to say this right here. This ain't the same Ups and Lee from a year ago. Oh, yeah. We got to lay it out online and play the E-Boy. Oh, yeah. I can say one thing Ups and Lee brought to the game that didn't bring last year. He brought a defense. Yeah. Boy, finna get it on. One thing I learned about Carl, ain't no challenge too big for him. Man, these boys train to go. And they got a young team here too. So Carl, first drive of the ball game. Man, they, they stall. I mean, defense. <laughs> Most elite defense. One thing I can say, this ain't the same defense. One thing I can't say, this punter, he was a, he was a player of the game for Carl. All night long, bad snap. He didn't he didn't panic. He didn't panic. He managed to get the punt off every time. As good as us elite defense was, Carl defense was even better. I mean, <laughs> us elite couldn't do nothing for Carl. Quarterback gives the end around to Jacoba Castle and ups and lead defense. They weren't allowing it. Not in the first half, they weren't allowing it. So here we go. First big mistake of the ball game. Quarterback rolling out. And he just lost the ball up there and it was intercepted by ups and lead. Man. But ups and lead couldn't do nothing with it. Carver's being one break defense stalled Ups and Lee. Ups and Lee had it. So here we go. Carver gets the ball. Quarterback drops back. And he hits from the back. Ball was fumbled. Picked up. Taken in for a score. To put Ups and Lee up 7 to 0. Man, like I said, it wasn't the same Ups and Lee here. Yeah, like I said, leaders do leader stuff. I paid attention right here. Man came to talk to his office line. Said, hey, we're we, we gonna be alright. We gonna be alright. Man, that's the role of a leader. Like I said, the lows were still there for Carl. I mean, they were still making mistakes, couldn't move the ball. And like I said, the punter had a big role that night. Out the bad snap, out the bad snap, all night long, and he still managed to get the punt off. The struggles still there for Carl. Quarterback drops back, then he's flushed out the pocket, end up being sacked. The offensive alignment, they lose, losing their composure. I mean, it was just a situation right here, you know. 
little frustration start to settle in. But hey, it's just the first half, you know. It's, it's you know, y'all come together, come together, you know. This why this is this why you coach, you know. What I'm saying for moments like this, gather your team, you know. Get, let's let's get back in this ball game. Gather the gather your team. I mean the struggles were still there, but like I said, it was, you know, still the first half. Everybody frustrated, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to go out like this, you know. No Carver make runs, like I said. They not no first round, second round team. All right, so here we go. We deep in the third quarter. Carver got to do something now. Ups and leads your quarterback drops back. Throws it, and it's intercepted by Anthony Wilson, the man. When I say the defense, the energy run through this man on defense, oh yeah, oh yeah. You remember earlier when he talked to his player? Oh, you just tell him, keep playing your game. I got you. Just keep playing your game. I got you. Now this is the true sign of a leader. Man, it's the captain of the defense, man. So I call fighting through all adversity, man. First half, you know, things won't go on their way. Call one down up by number seven points and still down by seven. Now, it's call the time. Here we go. Call with the ball at the five yard line. Hunter takes the snap, rolls to the right, stop, and fires to a wide open tight end for the score. To put Cobb on the board for the first score of the game. This came late in the third quarter. So here we go. Carver got to go for two. Hunter. Man in motion. Taste the snap. Sees a little opening. Dies for the ear zone. And put Carver up. Eight to seven. Man. Now this this, this is what I call the heart of a, a champion. He had made a few mistakes that night. You know what I'm saying? He never stopped playing. Never stopped playing. That extra point, that two point conversion was big. That was big. So here we go. And it's late in the fourth. There's two minutes in the fourth. Ups and Lee tipping the field goal to win the ball game. The kick is up. And it's no good. Call, they would turn the ball over on down. Call would take a knee. Get out of there with the win. Man, this this one of the, the best ball game. That's why we playoffs and it's all on the line. The best play play the best. Man. Call in the win that ball game. Seven to eight. Hey, they did our job executed. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of offense, offense kind of us. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. You too, boy. You too, boy. Good team win. We had to face adversity early, but it feels good to go to war, come out victorious. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That hit made the draw. I told you guys all week long it was gonna be a dog fight because I see, I want, I know a lot of those coaches. Some of those guys have won state championships and other levels. One of them, one of them I learned some football from back in the day, so I knew they were gonna be tough. Understand something. This is the type of game we need to build here. You gotta win games like this to go win a state championship. Man, I'm so proud of the effort and how hard y'all play with one another. That's how you play ball. Hey, defense, y'all play y'all put off. Hey, 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 Monday, you're off. Monday, you at the school at 11 o'clock, okay? Monday, you're at 11 o'clock. We'll watch me from the game, and we'll hit the field around 1, all right? So y'all take the weekend off, enjoy this, and let's go try to win the state championship. Hey, I love it. Let's bring it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Your plan 
man. You kept us in the ball game, man. Talk to him, man. I had to stay down. Bash now is the bash now, but you got to work for it. You got to keep, keep it in your mind, man. You can't always be regretful. If it's a bash up, work on it. And then if it's bad, you got to play to keep yourself in the game. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you did a good job, but that, that's, hey, that's notable what you did, homie. So. November the 24th. Friday night, Old Spencer Stadium. Carl was still alive in this playoff the day after Thanksgiving. Carl will be hosting Monroe area. Oh yeah. The man once said the good team play around Thanksgiving. <laughs> Carl was still alive. Wanna be heading in the semifinals, you know. And the perfect way to start the ball game with that bad defense that Carl got. Oh yeah. Quarterback takes the snap and he's in trouble right out the gate. And he's sacked and fumbled the ball. And it was scooped by Carl with the defender taking it in for a score. To give Carl the first lead of the ball game. The first score of the game. That's one way to start the ball game. Up 6-0. Carl was set the tone early in the ball game with a big defensive score. But here we go. Midways in the second quarter. Number Eric decided to strike back. The quarterback pitched to the running back, did a trick play, passed to the end zone to a wide open wide receiver. To get area, Murrow, Murrow area, the first lead. For the ball game, 76. Here we go. Carl moves the ball all the way down to the four yard line. Quarterback hands off to the Bruce running back, Mabry. And he goes straight up the gut to put Carver up 12 to 7. Oh, yeah. Carl will get the ball back. Quarterback drops back, looks to the corner of the end zone. It was an amazing catch by the wide receiver to put Carver up right before the half. 18 to 7. I must say this this kid, Jakes, man, he had an amazing season this year. Yeah, this is a standout wide receiver in the, in, in the Columbus area. Six minutes left in the third quarter. The quarterback would hand off to the running back. He would take it around the corner and take the ball 54 yards for the touchdown. The score is now 14 to 18. But Carl will end up winning this ball game 14 to 18. Man. Ain't nothing to say, man. Ain't nothing to say, man. That's how you handle business. That's how you handle business. Well, y'all hey, on that road with it. This is something to get that guy. Come on, man. 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 Come Hey, we one game away from our goal. Go one and oh. Man, I'm so proud of y'all, Elfie. And how y'all come out here, y'all get after. Hey, defense. Hey, another great job, guys. Hey, Tristan Gibbons. How you freaking come out that head, bro? Oh, yeah. Hey, understand something. This is a team game. This is a team game. One person didn't win this game ever. It's the semifinal. December 1st. Carl will host Savannah Christian. I know we all, you know, waiting on this game. One game for state. We, we here in the state. We win this game. Savannah Christian in our way. You know, name like that, you know. We, we don't, I ain't taking this here. Oh, yeah. 
one game away from that big game. And Carl was bringing a young team out here. I must tell you this. The future bright for Carl. Man, it's a young team they bringing up, up here. You know, and very few seniors. Oh yeah, they, it's go time. So, the opening drive. Found a Christian, drove all the way down the field and attempted a field goal. Uh, you know, whoever say field goal don't matter in, in, in high school football, field goal matter. It'll make a difference. Savannah Christian next position, quarterback in that, that wishbone eye formation thing. I didn't know who had the ball, but somehow the fullback got the ball, went straight up the gut to put Savannah Christian up. 10 to nothing. I ain't gonna lie, the touchdown was coming so fast. Before I know it, it was 17 to 0. Oh, yeah, Savannah had jumped up 17 to nothing. And it was still the first quarter. And offensively, Carver at the moment, they couldn't get nothing. They couldn't get nothing going. Like they were playing behind the sticks. Savannah Christian played, you know, made play after play in they, their backfield. Up 17 to nothing. Found him still, you know, making plays. And give it to the running back. Up the good. To put Savannah Christian up 24 to nothing in the first quarter. Man. Carver got to make a move down 24 to 0. Hunter rolls out to the right. And he adds it out. Wide open. This is his main man, Braylon Jakes. He's, he fakes a man out and gets it in the end zone to put Carver on the board. Carl was now down 24-6. Yeah. The defense, Carl's defense made a stand. So here we go. Hunter drops back. Looks for his man and he throws it right to the defender. And he would take it in to put Savannah Christian up just before the half. 30-6. Man. Here goes start of the second half. Quarterback the screen pass out to J Jacoby Casson, and he takes it in to put Carver on the board. Carver was now down 30 to 12. Carver was trying to make a run back at it. Carver was now down 30 to 12. Carver gets the ball back. Quarterback hands out to the running back Zion Mabry, and he goes straight up the gut to put Carver on the board. Carl was now down 30 to 18. Carl would end up losing this ball game 51 to 26. One thing I can say, I mean, y'all had a, a amazing season. You know, I know this game may hurt. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know y'all didn't settle for nothing less than a state championship. But I'm going to say this on my behalf. I am so proud of you guys. I feel like, you know, I built a relationship with, at least, I'll say, I can honestly say, at least 60% of the team. I know they all know me. And that's why I followed them. That's why I took them road trips with them. I knew there was something special. I knew what we had here. And I know y'all be back that's one thing about Carl them boys on the hill they'll be back Carl don't rebuild they reload like I said before and coach what you did with this team it's something special it's something special now this your boy Dirty South signing off until next season I'm Braylon Jates Rob Seaver from Carl for Tigers I'm doing good I'm uh, here to ask you a couple questions. How do you feel about last season, personally and team-wise? Last season, I feel like it was okay. You know, we made it to the semifinal, but we didn't make it to state, so can't say too much. So, um, what are you looking forward to next season, personally and team-wise? Uh, next season, personally, I just want to be able to be a great leader for my team. And as a team, trying to get back in that, trying to go back to state. We've been in the States in my friend here, so we're trying to go there and trying to win.
Doing Caper Holly, DB for Carpet Tigers. Man, I'm doing good, man. How about you, man? Good. Um, how do you feel about the last postseason? I feel like we faced a lot of adversity, but as a team, we overcame it. We made it far than everybody expected us to be. We ain't make it far enough, so job not done. Um, what are you looking forward, forward to next season, personally and team wise? Next year, I'm looking forward to getting back to that Final Four and winning that game, playing in the bins with my bros. And personally, I just want to better myself as a football player and as a man. We have AJ Wilson, linebacker, class 25 for Corbin. How you doing? Good, how are you? I mean, I'm doing good, man. I like to ask you a few questions. So, uh, how do you feel about this season that you guys just played? Um, I feel we did great as a team. We could be better. We could always be better. We did great team, build up, build up brotherhood, and it was great. Me personally, I feel as I did, I could have did better. Could have made plays I didn't make. All right, man. I feel you about that one, man. So, like, how do you think you guys gonna be next year? For you and for the team? Um, I feel like we're going to be great. Actually, we got a lot of returners coming back. You know what I'm saying? We had a young team. So, with that chemistry we just built up from the postseason, I feel like we could possibly go all the way because the team young and we got a lot of juniors to come become seniors and step up and be real leaders. How about you personally? Uh, me personally, um, step up and be a real leader, um, you know, and get all state linebacker. Make the decent player of the year. Hey, bro. Have a good season. Hey, what's up, Coach Coffee from the Carver Tigers? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, can I ask you a couple questions? Absolutely. Um, how do you feel about this season, this past season? Um, you know, I think it was a season of growth. Our guys, you know, they were able to, you know, go through some ups and downs and really find out, you know, who we are and who we were this past season as a football team. And um, I'm, I'm just so proud at how, you know, the guys fought adversity. Um, they continue to come to practice every day and work, come to school every day and be, you know, class acts in the classroom. And so, um, you know, I'm just excited for the future. Um, these guys showed this year that there's no, there's no quit in them. So, um, you know, I think they did a very good job. You know, go to the semifinals, we ended up 10 and four, uh, game away from the championship. And so, um, you know, with, so many returning starters, I think the future is bright here on the hill. That's a great answer. Um, what are you looking for for next season? Oh, uh, just, you know, next year, I think, you know, we have a lot of guys on both sides of the ball who have, who have uh, playing experience. And so, um, I, I really want to see, you know, a, a good senior leadership out of this group, uh, a good uh, sense of kinship amongst the team with these guys. You know, I think now everybody on the team has been on the team for some years with one another. So, you know, they can, you know, really have that sense of brotherhood. And, um, and you know, with so many returning starters, I, I'm just, I'm excited about the future because these guys understand what varsity level football is about. Um, they understand the game speed and they understand how to compete at a high level. So, we're extremely excited for the next couple of years here.